every day is different on our farm because we have so many different things going on at the same time. But every day starts with milking and chores, um, and that starts between 4 and 4.30 in the morning, still dark. After that, we have breakfast. Um, we now have four full-time people who work with us, so we make a big breakfast for the crew. Um, it's usually, you know, the full-on eggs, just bacon, sausage, toast everything from our place. And then we have a meeting to decide what we're going to do for the day. Um, and in the fall, usually it's about harvest. So I might go out with a crew and harvest carrots for a few hours and then hitch up the horses to come back to the field and um, bring in all the bags of carrots. And then we all have lunch together. And in the summer and fall, our crew can be anywhere between eight people and 15 people. Um, and lunch is a really important part of our day. Mark and I know a lot of farmers who don't have time to actually eat their own food, and we made a commitment at the beginning that we would all eat well. And so lunch would be a big pork roast plus um, a giant green salad and maybe sliced tomatoes and um, cheese and then a big apple pie or something like that for dessert. And then we all need a nap. <laughs> so everybody um, finds a little place to crash, even if it's just under a tree for 10 minutes. Um, and just take a little bit of a nap after lunch and rest and recover. And then in the afternoon, there's usually time for one more big project. Um, a lot of organic farming is about weeding. So I might take a team of horses out with a cultivator and cultivate um, the last flush of weeds for the fall. And then in the evening, it's time to milk and do chores again. And we wrap up around 5.30 or 6. And then we have um, a few hours to have just family time before we go to bed, which is ridiculously early by city standards. <laughs>